Alexander Koti and Shafi El Sheikh belonged to one of ISIS's most notorious killing gangs. These monsters were members of the murderous death cult that crucified people, buried women and children alive, used them as suicide bombers, burned men in cages, and proudly hacked people's heads off in full view of the world. Yet the government's been criticised for not demanding these savages won't face execution if they're tried in the US. Look, I don't want to see the death penalty back here, but I do believe, in rare cases, there is a moral justification for it. And this is one of those cases. If these two men, who aren't even British citizens anymore, are executed in the US, I believe it will actually save lives. They won't be able to kill and torture innocent people, and they won't be around to incite or command others to do it, which is exactly what would happen if they were in prison here. So, yes, let America have them, because it's an affront to British taxpayers if they're asked to pay millions to keep these monsters safe in prison. And if they are executed, I won't shed any tears. It's two less animals hacking the heads of innocent people. So, Carol, I, I understand the emotions behind this. It really is something that uh, all of us feel that these people um, deserve every form of justice thrown at them. But I think it's precisely for that reason, at times like this, when we want to um, see people suffer for, for the crimes that they've committed against innocence, that we should stop, pause a moment, take a deep breath, and just remember the dangers in moments like this to um, everybody else's civil liberties. There are a few instances where um, national security, and it usually is national security, are used as a thin end of the wedge to eventually chip away at all of our civil liberties, and that's my main concern. I think it happened with uh, uh, detention without trial. Um, it happened as a result, by the way, Schedule 7, the terrorism laws, were then used to stop Lauren Southern, who's not a terrorist, from entering this country. I now I disagree with a lot of what she stands for, but she certainly shouldn't have been stopped under, this is entirely different under the country's... You know no, this I'm is entirely Carol, different. Let me make my point. I'm talking about the thin end of the wedge being then used to no, extend no. terrorism laws using national security against all of our civil liberties. It happened with Lauren Southern, detention without trial. It happened with the extradition to America uh, that was non-reciprocal. It was meant to extradite terrorists to the States. We ended up uh, with bankers with autism being sent to America. We're not, it you happened listened, with data. Imagine you it listen to the, the intro. The you yep, know yep, that these yep. guys were part of one that. of I, the most I don't think notorious I don't, gangs. I don't, the most Carol, savage gangs. I don't think you're listening to the point. I am listening to your point. I'm saying that once, we, once we allow this under the guise of national security to apply to terrorists, it ends up being extended to other people. And I've cited examples to you where I've it heard has them. happened. I've heard them. Two yeah. things. Two things. These guys are not British citizens anymore. They, they, they are likely mm. to be tried in America. Mm. They have the death penalty. It's not, it's not for us it's not to about interfere them, with them. It's not about it, them. But it is about them. No, it's, it's, not, a, it's, it's not about a, them. And it's about <clears> the victims It's about our Home Secretary people. cooperating yeah. legally with the United States of America and not demanding that why, people... Why should he demand that? They're not British well, citizens anymore. Why. They're nothing to no, do no, with no, us anymore. I'll tell you why. And they chose not to do it. It's nothing to do with them. The Home Secretary traditionally has been banned... Well, you think it's going to happen here? When we legally cooperate with a country, the yeah. Home Secretary is usually obliged to, to seek assurances that that cooperation doesn't lead to execution. Yes. Now, that, that assurance has been... It's not going to happen here, Major. I, and yeah. I, you, you're I mean, not sorry, listening, sorry, sorry, you're not listening to what I said. And that, yeah. I don't want the death penalty brought back here. I don't. But, mm. uh, but actually, for these guys... You yeah. know, the policy, the policy exchange think yeah. tank says... It was a piece in the paper yesterday. Mm. Said they, they want to bring back the ancient law of treason yeah. and actually apply it to returning jihadis. Yeah. You know, the, the, the former... The guy who used to re review mm. our terror laws said return of jihadis are the biggest threat to this country in I don't decades. Dispute and any why of that. why yeah. are we why do we care about these men? I don't care what happens to these men. We know you don't I care really do. don't. Yeah. What do you thank you? Uh, thanks Rachel. Uh, I just want to say a couple of things. Um, first of all, if Sajid Javid thought this was such an honourable thing to do. Why did he do it in secrecy? Secondly, the thing that we also have to take into consideration, and I know you're not going to like me saying this, but I think part of the reason that we are even agreeing to this is because of Brexit. Because we're so scared of standing up to America right now that we allow them to do are anything. Are we forgetting the victims How of these men? How are we losing <clears throat> our principles? This is, this, we're not losing this, principles. This is something that's we're not decades, decades old. We have always seeked assurances from the US. So why now, under these circumstances, yeah. are we doing well, something else? Can, can and the other thing, just to add to that, is can I bring in a statement from Amnesty International? 
And uh, what they have to say, this is from Alan Hogarth, who's head of advocacy and programs. And he says, while the alleged crimes of Alexander Cote and Shafi El Sheikh are appalling, the UK's principled opposition to the cruelty of the death penalty isn't something it should compromise. Capital punishment is the ultimate denial of life. It is always cruel and unnecessary. It doesn't deter crime and it means that rehabilitation is not an option. One, I think he's wrong because I think there are some crimes so heinous that... that, that but I want to read you a, I want to show you a grab, actually, from the two jihadis that we're actually talking about. Just look at the arrogance of these two guys here. Watch them. Don't think that the death penalty is uh, on the table because of the places where it's been said we would face a uh, trial. It's not reasonable that they would give the death penalty in those circumstances. I think it's fairly reasonable in the, uh, an expectation that it could happen in the United States. Is there any you worried about that? I'm not really uh, worried if, that if people were actually adhering to their principles, which is someone's not guilty in, until proven, uh, with evidence, uh, I have no fear. You know, these guys have the nerve to talk about not reasonable. I, you know, I, I know you guys are talking about a principle and a moral here, but not all murders of the same. These guys didn't commit a crime against a person or a few people. They were crimes against humanity. They, they, was, they set out to destroy the Western mm. civilization in the most no cruel, heinous way possible. No one is making any excuses for what they've done. It's about Michelle. who we are as a nation. So, should we just have a quick look? Because, for me, why, um, why we, we've not brought them here is because um, you know, Saj Sajid Javid has no uh, belief that actually if they came back here they would face a right. proper trial, they That's wouldn't right. be uh, prosecuted. So if we just look at this, there is 425 um, ISIS members that have returned to the UK. Approximately 50 of those have been convicted of any mm -hmm. crime. And to me, this is the real travesty because as you just heard that guy there say, he's saying, well, if there's evidence and I'm found guilty, then whatever. He knows, and everybody knows, that if he was brought back to the UK, um, he wouldn't be prosecuted. I think, they would I be think, allowed I to wander around. This, this does rest on evidence, though, uh, guys. Yeah, but he so, might... so with those returnees, I think the issue is that is there the evidence to prosecute Rachel, them? Now, in, in, in the case with, the, yeah. with these two, uh, they, we, we have been cooperating with the Americans gathering this evidence. Mm -hmm. And I, the point I was making is I, I think all of us agree that these two uh, have committed some evil, evil yeah. deeds. The issue is not about them. It's about what it's doing to us. How do we deal with it's not evil? Doing anything. We're not going to do be we doing anything. Do we compromise our principles we're gonna, of morality? We're going to let America deal yeah. with them. We're not well, actually uh, uh, doing anything. Well, an absence of doing something in terms of what we used used to do all the yes. time is secret. And let's done. face it, uh, yep. they're not so, British citizens so anymore. There they're are nothing sins to do of, with but us. Carol, there are sins of commission. There are sins of omission. And in this instance, we are we are in danger of committing a we're sin of omission. We're not going to bring. Shall we hear from the mother of one of the victims, Diane Foley? And she's she's cast an interesting light on this, which is that actually. Hanging is execution is in a way too good for them. It will yes. serve their own purposes. They'll become it martyrs. Would they will become mm. martyrs yeah. and they will therefore radicalise others. Let's hear from Diane Foley, mother of James Foley. I think that that would just make them martyrs in their twisted ideology. I would like them held accountable by being sent to prison for the rest of their lives. Jim was always one that wanted everyone to have the benefit of the doubt. Jim was always one who wanted justice in the fairest sense. I think that, you know, we descend to their level if we turn, if we turn the trial and punishment of even jihadi terrorists into an eye for an eye, this is not who How we are as a country. How descend to their level? How could you or anyone on this well, table ever descend to their level? And if you're talking about relatives, the re David Haynes, who was this executed... This is what they want. OK. Well, they want us all no. to descend into a bar they, they, barrack. No, David yeah. Haynes, yes, who was executed in front of the world, his daughter Bethany said, I hope they die a long, slow, painful death. We have to listen to what those relatives say because they're the ones that are important here. The victims are the people that are important here, not what you guys so, think so about. Long, long so they are important, but the justice system is important. Exactly. Civilised laws are important. as I am, important. to quote Diane Abbott, I must at this stage <laughs> oh, yeah, give yeah. credit where Leave credit Diane Abbott alone. alone. Give credit where credit is due because she says something quite interesting yeah. on this. Ever watch what she says. I put it to ministers. They cannot be a little bit in favour of death penalty. Either we offer consistent opposition or we don't. 
So I just want to say that having studied um, Islamist ideology and jihadist yeah. theory in detail, I can assure you that um, not that this affects 100% of how we think about it, but they certainly, ISIS and other jihadists, do want us to abandon our principles. Yeah. They but want to eliminate what they call the grey zone, and they yeah. want us to retreat and become more and more medieval in how we deal with them. But yeah. Diane also mentioned... Which will about, radicalise more yeah. people. She mentioned about a breach of human rights. To me, I am, there's no grey area. You either respect human rights or you don't. And if you don't respect human rights, and you'll kill, torture, behead, you just, you, you, you just lose, you negate your right to have your human rights respected. And I want to just pick up on your point, um, June, because I agree and disagree with you. Mm. I strongly disagree with you that this has got anything to do with Brexit, and I'm astonished that I you've do. managed to leave I that. I do. I think we are frightened but, to stand up to hang America. Hang on, but, totally. but I do find it quite interesting that this was done in secret. I do yeah. think, I don't think it um, demonstrates a policy change, but I do think, well, why was it done in quiet? Because they know it's wrong, that's mm. why. Do you know, June, if and you did a straw poll and in this also, country, everyone would vote forget to bring back the death penalty for those people. Murderers, murderers shouldn't have legal representation because, you know, they're murderers. Do you know they're what? Just in in, in the cases of jihadis who we know <laughs> have killed thousands of people, maybe not. I don't think we should, a Western <laughs> justice should apply. <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? You're laughing in the face of people I being slaughtered. Yes, I you are. And when Diane Abbott you're, says... You're, you're, you're so binary. You I'm not binary. This is the slippery When she says you can't be a little bit against... what I was trying to say There are different kinds of murders. We're not going on any slippery slope. We've just given America some evidence to help convict these guys. Mm. That's all mm. we've done. And we did the same not, with extradition. We're not data, executing anybody. It's there in their Now, where are America's right. concerned? Sorry. We're not going to agree, are we? Yeah. We're not going.